Well hello folks, I hope you can hear me, can you join us on the outside of Udontani Me and the wife, we're on the way to do a wee trip round Nan. I didn't bother filming anything on the way from Sakonakon to Udon because it's uh, basically just this dual carriageway straight boring roads so from here we're going to Nong Bua Lampu and then to a place called Nong, Nong Ning Ing Doi say that when you're drunk Nong Ning Ing Doi where we're staying for the night <clears throat> And then head into Nan tomorrow. So it's about a two hour ish, two, two and a half hour ride from now to the digs tonight. Um, I don't think it's uh, the roads are nothing special, it's kind of just a blast to get there. Get where we're going, you know, is it not? quickest, shortest route possible from Sakonakon to where we're staying tonight and then the fun proper will begin tomorrow when we hit all the mountain roads of Nan. So we're going to be five, four nights, five days, this being day one. Um, but video wise, there'll not be much from today apart from a couple of little bits maybe, so I'll just combine probably day one and day two together. And then uh, we'll take it from there. But anyway, so that's just a quick update to let you know what we're doing um, and I'll uh, speak to you later because, uh, let's say, it's pretty much this all the way so it's a bit boring. Okay folks, catch us in a bit. ta -da. Well folks, I've got an hour. Hope you can hear me alright. Got an hour to go till we get more digs but this is a start into, kind of get to the, the hilly part out of Isan or uh, probably not far from Louis, Louis, Louis so as you can see in front of me although this is about it, this is this, is, this road for quite a bit yet though so well, I'll just start to give you a quick update that we're, uh, it's probably been oh, an hour and a half, an hour and a half since I spoke to you last and that's us, we're coming over the next two, three days. We're going to be seeing plenty of this, I hope. Plenty. Should be good. But hopefully, plenty of this, but not plenty of this up ahead. The bloody roadworks, there's a lot of roadworks. sugar cane trucks on this road as well. It's a popular sort of sugar cane farming area. I hope I'm going this way. I guess so. It's not like this tomorrow and road works everywhere. Probably for the last hour on this road there's been road works, but uh, I mean this is a dual carriageway so I'm not really that bothered to be honest. But tomorrow it won't be dual carriageways. Well, well maybe for the first half hour from the digs. But after that it should be all sort of normal twisties. And I hope there's no road works, but the thing is it's possible because it's sort of Rainy season just finished, or just over, kind of, rainy season's over, so what you tend to get during rainy season is all the landslides and roads, like Buddha on the hill, and roads collapsing and all that up in the, up in the mountains. 
so just after rainy season they do all the fixing so I'm hoping that's not the case tomorrow or the next day or the day after that <laughs> but yeah so this is it for still a good hour of this probably before we get to the digs let us say today is just a blast just to just to get there so we can go play tomorrow I'll catch you in a bit Folks, if you can hear me, right, that's us off the main route now and on to the back roads to Nong Ning Ing Dao. And our abode for the night, uh, according to the GPS, it's going to take 40 minutes to get there. And uh, I'll just be taking it easy because, as you can see, there's this is a sugar cane country, so there's going to be trucks and tractors fucking everywhere. As well as shite all over the road, like so. Anyway, I'll speak to you when we get there. Okay, we'll, we'll keep this going and maybe stick some music to it for you or maybe not Peoples. This is a little hidden gem, isn't it? this here. I knew we were kind of close to the mountains so the place where we were staying but I didn't realise it was actually in the mountains. this
cool. What a place.